All right, guys. So after a nine hour long round trip, we are home. Can't say I have any new answers, new game plan, new anything. I have a really good doctor on my side, which is nice, but he's never done the surgery that it takes to somewhat fix what I have. And to just sort of go over what I have going on, I have a craniocervical deformity that is putting pressure on my brainstem. The cliboaxial angle is supposed to be 155 to 165, about the sweet spot. And mine is 118. So that bone is essentially laying flat instead of standing up. And in order to get it to stand up, they have to do a craniocervical fusion, aka fusing your skull to your spine. But he warned me that the amount of pressure that it would take to get my clivus to stand like it should would be so intense that I could lose my ability to breathe or swallow or several other necessary bodily functions along the way. And he can't in good conscience send me to any of the big name doctors who are doing these surgeries because he knows I guess you'd call it the dark side of this whole issue. So he's gonna be reaching out to a surgeon in Washington, DC, doing some research of his own and just doing the best he can to guide me. He can't fix me, but that's not what I was looking for. I just wanted someone to email or call or just talk to if another ball drops, if my arm goes dead again, if I have new symptoms, and he seems willing to be that person. And that's good enough for me right now. So I'll be sure to keep you guys updated. I'm exhausted, but I felt like today was progress. Progress in that I finally have a doctor who cares. And that's becoming far and few in between. So I love you guys. Thank you for the messages and prayers and words of support leading up to today. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.